Let's hop into Photoshop. I'm gonna show you how to create a GIF in today's quick tutorial, or GIF, whatever you wanna call it. I, I think initially it honestly was GIF, but that sounds so weird. I like GIF. Popping into Photoshop, I'm gonna click on File, come down to Scripts, and load files into Stack. What this does is instead of loading just one image into a project, it, it will load however many images that I want into uh, one file as a bunch of different layers. And that's exactly what we want. So I'm gonna click Browse. I'm gonna select all of them by hitting Control or Command on Mac and A. That will highlight everything. I'm gonna click Open. And one thing that I would recommend doing as you'll notice over here, it kind of orders them a little strange. I'll always sort by name, and that's gonna put it in chronological order or alphabetical order. I'm not sure, but it just puts it in the correct order. Okay, and in this case, I'm not going to attempt to align the sources. I click OK, and it'll take a second, but it'll populate all the different layers over here on the right. Okay. So that is the very first picture, a little bit before she started to do the back bend. Down here at the end is the very last image where she had fell. And really quick, let's just decide where we want this to start. I think I might take these top three and I'm just gonna delete those because I, maybe even this one as well. Actually, no, I'm gonna keep that one for now. Come down here to the end. Let's see. It looks like she started falling. And these last 10 or so, I'm going to delete those as well. Now that we have the exact photos that we want and they're in order, I'll come up here, make sure that my timeline is selected. That brings up this module down here. And we are going to create a frame animation. What I did is it took the very top layer and it created a frame down here. Now that we've done that, we can come to this hamburger menu box right here. And I'm going to select make frames from layers. That will take the remaining frames and populate them here into our stop motion. And down here, you'll, you'll see that it says zero seconds. So that's currently how long each frame is lasting, which is, is very quick because there's no delay. We want a little bit of a delay. So I'll, I'm going to select all of these by selecting the first one, holding shift, and clicking on the last one. And then I'll do the drop down menu, and let's just try 0.2 seconds. Okay, and we can preview what it's going to look like right here, hitting play. It might be a little slow. Select them all and do 0.1 seconds. Let's see what that looks like. Yeah, that's pretty cool. These last couple, I think she comes out of it too much. So I might actually take frames 13 through 15, drag them over there to the bin, and then I'll just delete them from up here as well since they're not being used. We do need to reverse it because when we selected make frames from layers, it actually puts them in reversed order. And so you wanna come up here and just reverse the frames. Now that you have all the layers here perfect exactly how you want, we need to duplicate all of them and reverse them. That way, the GIF will go to the end and then it returns itself back to frame one. And so it's just this constant loop going up and down. If we, if we did not duplicate it, then it's gonna go from the start to end and then loop to the start. Just, just, just. So you're not gonna get that boomerang um, GIF effect where it goes forward and then back and then forward and back. I'm going to highlight all of them again. Shift click to select them all. I'm going to drag them down to this little plus, which is a new layer or new frame, and it's going to duplicate all of them. Now, here's the trick before I deselect anything, I need to come over here and I need to reverse those frames. So now we have the exact same frames just reversed, right? So we have one where I'm starting on the left and it goes to the right 
and we have one where it starts on the right and goes to the left. But right where those, um, where the first one starts and the next one ends, there's going to be a duplicate frame. I'm just going to show you what it looks like if you don't duplicate, if you don't delete um, two important frames. Okay. So let me show you this if I just play it now. Can you see how it's stopping at the beginning of each uh, set and at the end? It's because there's a duplicate frame that's uh, making it last twice as long. What we need to do, these were the duplicates, right? Frames 13 to 24. We've already reversed them. However, this first one and the very last frame are duplicates. So I selected those, click on the first one, and then click or hold Option or Command on Mac and select the very last one. And let's just drag those down to the bin. So now when we play it, there's no delay, it just hops right down. That's pretty cool. Spacebar uh, will pause or play the animation or you can just hit down here the play button. Now that we have our, our GIF prepared, we need to export it. What I like to do is the hotkey for exporting or saving to web, which on a Mac is holding Option, Command, Shift, and S on your keyboard. That will bring up the export as or save to web dialog box. So over here in the uh, preset, I'm gonna come all the way to the top and select 125, or sorry, 128 dithered. And I'm actually going to bump this all the way up to 256 colors. Okay, and dithered, I'm just gonna put it all the way 100%. And everything else, I'm gonna leave pretty much as is and hit save. I'm going to replace this. I'm just gonna say final. Let's take a quick look at it, shall we? Should be right over here. There's that. I'm going to preview it. And just like that, you've got your GIF. GIF. Giffy Jiffy. Okay, so that's a pretty badass page. That's the end of today's quick tutorial. I hope that makes some sense and you're able to create some fun GIFs. I'd love to see what you do with it send me a message. Let me know what you've done and if you were able to figure it out with this tutorial. Thanks for tuning in and your next quick tutorial is coming right up. Let's do this.